the time period we're living in at this time. We're always encouraged because we're living in the day in which God is opening up his word to reveal much truth to his people. And so that should be an encouragement to each one of us. The way that the Bible pictures this period of time and this spiritual bread that the Lord has been making available to us, as he had said to Daniel, seal the word until the time of the end. And at the time of the end, it would be unsealed and then knowledge would increase. The biblical picture is seen with the 40-year Israelite wilderness sojourn, wherein God rained down manna from heaven on a daily basis, except for the Sabbath day, but then he would provide twice as much the day before. And we know that God provided manna from heaven the entire 40 years. And it is an interesting thing when we are able to interpose or place what happened in the wilderness that 40 years and lay it out over the period of 40 years we're currently in from 1994 to 2033. Then we can see how the manna fits. We can see how the testing, the proving through the manna as manna from heaven. God says it was through the manna. He proved them. And that has to do with the opening up of the doctrines at the time of the end. And so we can expect that God will continue to open up his word to provide this spiritual food for his people. After all, he does command, feed my sheep. And how are we to feed them? Well, he will provide the food. He will provide the information coming forth from the Word of God, the Bible, that has never before been known. And that's another characteristic of the manna. The Jews' forefathers never knew such bread. It was bread especially prepared by God for that particular period of time. No one had ever eaten of it before, and no one would eat of it afterwards. God has been feeding his people over the course of this prolonged judgment period, which again combined is on the church and on the world, with doctrine that our forefathers, spiritually speaking, those in the churches, knew nothing of. And the Bible's clear about that, that they would lack understanding, they would see through a glass darkly throughout their time period. The Lord likens it to them being as children. And then at the time of the end, he brings forth the strong meat. So too has God prepared this spiritual bread, the truth, the doctrine coming out of his word over the course of these many years of the great tribulation and now into the day of judgment. And it is for us. It is for our life. It is to keep us alive as we continue wandering in this grievous day of temptation, day of judgment period. <laughs> 